Okay, so I've said before, and I really want to say again, that the word study is one of the most meaningless words that we have in education today. Because what exactly does it look like? What should we do when we're studying? That's why I think the study senses are a really great way to kind of have a checklist to make sure that you are actually doing something when you're studying rather than just saying, oh yeah, I'll study, I'll study. So I want to take a moment to explain what I mean by the study senses and look at how we might use them to make a good study plan. So our brains process information in different ways. I found these four ways that we're about to talk about the most useful. There are other ways that our brains process information too. Um, after all, they're a very complex, or the brain is a very complex organ. But for right now, let's just look at these four ways. We see information. We look at the board, we see pictures in a book. Even reading is a way of seeing information. We listen to other people explaining information. You might listen to your teacher talking, you might listen to your classmates, you might wa watch and listen to a video. All of that is having the information kind of come in through your auditory channels. We also speak information out loud. Uh, when you raise your hand in class and say something, you are processing the information. I am very much a verbal processor, like I, I realize things as I'm talking. And in fact, you might notice, <laughs> speaking of verbal processing, that I've added a verb here that I didn't have in the last couple of animations. And that is the verb manipulate. I find that it's a better one than the verb move. And I wouldn't have even known that that verb was a good one for the study senses until I started doing these videos and actually having to talk it out loud rather than just typing it. So the reason I like the word manipulate is because man right there actually means hands. To use one's hands to change the shape of information. So when you're studying, you can do all of these things. You can see information, you can listen to it, you can speak it, but you also need to do something with it, to move it around. And we're going to be talking in the next, actually for the whole rest of this whole course about ways that you can do this. You can manipulate information. So I highly encourage you to put your study senses that you made up in a visible place where you can refer to it uh, as you move into the rest of the school year because it's a great checklist. And now let's actually talk about how to use this checklist in the next video.